Hi, <clears throat> this is Kristen Peterson from Altered State Studio, and um, today I'm going to uh, show you. This is actually my uh, finished item that I made using um, a product by the name of Angelina Film um, by Embe uh, Embellishment Village. Um, and I played with it the first time just so I could see how it was going to react and, and what it would look like. I actually, um, it's sitting on top of a background. Um, I wanted it to be over the mat board when I actually finished it. Um, so it's actually separate. I didn't attach those two. This doesn't uh, lay completely flat, so I wanted it to be free. So it's just attached to the mat board up at the top here. Um, and then this was actually just a recycled background um, from something else that I liked once apparently, but decided could uh, maybe have an update. So I'm going to show you, um, it will be similar, uh, and I'll show you some of the things that I did to get it to do um, what it did for this finished piece. Um, but again, we'll be working with um, a product called Angelina Film. And the other um, thing that we will be working with um, is something called uh, Angelina's Crimped Cut Fibers. Um, I actually have a sampler pack um, and use some of those. So I'll show you how to use them. Um, I actually did a little research because I wasn't sure uh, how to use the product to begin with. Um, it says that you can use it on a rubber stamp. Um, it will actually take up the background, whatever it's on. Um, this happens to be one of my favorite stamps I probably own. Um, it's a French script, um, and I like it. It just puts a very um, kind of gentle uh, French words onto the piece of film. And what I did, it comes actually in a small roll. Um, it looks like this when it comes, and you unroll it. Um, and then you get this long piece of film, and hopefully you can see. All I did was basically uh, cut it to the size of my stamp. Um, and then this first time, for this first layer, um, I just grabbed just a very few fibers here that we're just going to um, put on here. Um, the trick with the film and the fibers is apparently um, the heat. So. I have already turned my iron on. Um, the other thing that um, they used was like a parchment paper. So I just have a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to put that over the fibers. Um, when, you're, oops, when you're using your iron, um, it should be set on like the silk setting. Pardon me for just a moment here. Get myself organized. Um, on the silk setting. Um, mine doesn't necessarily have silk, but if you read below, it said a fabric guide and medium weight uh, was listed there. So I have it kind of on a medium setting. Um, you should be able to just kind of go over um, everything lightly with your iron. And I know it says in the videos that I watched about three seconds. Um, that's probably a little longer than the three seconds, but it seemed to work for me the first time. Um, and then basically what you get, and it'll just kind of peel up off of your stamp, so don't panic. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but the words are very lightly um, into the film here. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do with my stamp. So this is kind of my first layer then. I put a few of the fibers on. I have a few coming off of the film. Um, and then from here, I just kind of experimented um, with different papers um, and kind of a little fabric. Um, so I just have a few little scraps I've kind of picked up off of the floor and kind of around off of my uh, studio here. And basically what I like to do um, is to just kind of uh, pull together um, a nice collage. So I'm going to just sort through my little pile here. And maybe cut, um, I'm just going to use some scraps that I already have um, and just again make kind of a nice uh, collage here. Let's see what else I have. I don't know if I want that. Um, I always like circles. So I have some uh, thin book paper. I'm just going to punch a circle here. 
and we'll put that down as well. Um, and I did glue this. I'm just using a all-purpose uh, glue stick, so we'll just uh, kind of get our little papers arranged here. I'll set those aside. And we'll get this kind of put together here. And then on my next step, I'm going to add just a few more uh, fibers here. Oops. Um, the fibers kind of help hold everything together. So if, um, if stuff doesn't seem to be holding quite how you want, I'm never too concerned. We'll just figure out another method here. So on this second layer here, I'm just going to grab another um, color off of, out of our package here. And um, the first one that I used is kind of a, a purple. And I really like this kind of red-orange here. So we're just going to put a few of these down maybe behind the paper and then back on top again here. And I kind of like it just to come all the way down this edge. Um, the other thing when working with the fiber that it talked about was that um, it basically only sticks to itself. So we're just going to use the iron here again and just go back over the top of what I've put together here. And it'll just peel back up, back up um, off of my surface. So um, the next layer that I did was to actually sew on that other piece uh, with a little bit of fabric. But um, the other thing that I like uh, usually is to try to maybe not have such a, a straight edge on things. Um, so I did try my heat gun um, this last time, and I guess that's still plugged in here. Um, this is just uh, an embossing tool um, that I have in my studio. So, whoops, nope, maybe I don't have that plugged in. Oh, nope. So we're going to switch over here. And... Turn on my embossing tool. I'm just going to go over the edges with this. So, um, you can kind of see how it will kind of fold in on itself here a little bit. And create a little variation here. The other thing that we can do too, um, when it's still hot, you can kind of mold and shape it a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you one other thing here. Um, the other thing that I did on my first one was to um, put a few seed beads into a fold here. So I'm just going to show you that again. Um, basically what I'm going to do here is... Uh, kind of make a fold, a gentle fold along this edge here. And then these are just, like I said, little micro beads. And I'm just going to shake a few into my fold. And then we'll go back over the top of that here. So I just want to try to capture those. So right now those are in my fold here. And they will um, just create a little texture within our piece here. And I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's like little bubbles now. And those have kind of, if they didn't get caught in the fibers, they're going to come off and they'll be free, but that's okay. Um, the other thing that you can use, like I said, was little pieces of fabric. Um, so I'm just going to grab a little hunk here. And 
again, you can um, kind of adhere it into, I may take another little piece of paper here. And layer that again, because my first piece really got lost in the fibers, so. We'll just kind of layer those on just like that. And then use our iron here again. Now you can also sew on this. So I may take this over um, and you can see how my layers are kind of coming together here. You can see little bits of paper and stuff underneath. Um, I'm going to go step away and go add just a few more pieces, but this runs through the sewing machine just fine. So I'm just going to pause for the moment and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back now. Um, I stitched down um, the two extra little pieces. Um, I did add kind of a long piece of just paper scrap I had here and then I really liked this uh, little turquoise polka dot here underneath. Um, <clears throat> now with this again um, what I could do again because the corners are still I don't know we could go back and hit it again with the heat gun um, just a little bit just to kind of shrink those up or maybe fold those in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, on top of themselves, but I really don't mind it. Um, I guess how it is, I like how it's un, you know, not um, not symmetrical anymore. So I'm thinking I'm good, but you could go back in, like I said, with the heat gun um, and, and kind of roll those up um, and make them come in a little bit. Um, to finish this one off now, um, what I like to do so that it'll maybe fit um, onto, into a frame um, would be to grab a sheet of like book paper um, and you can you know either decorate up the back um, the background or uh, just mount it onto a larger sheet of paper just so that you can get it framed appropriately um, for your finished project so anyway this is just kind of a nice little sample piece that I put together similar to um, what I made um, again um, just for your reference um, I'm using the uh, Angelina crimped cut fibers. Um, this happens to be a little sampler pack. Um, but again, the Angelina film, um, that's the other thing that, it, that I used for this and it worked really well. So if you're looking for either one of these projects, um, Blue Twig Studios um, carries both of these products. That's where I had gotten them from and Deb will be happy to help you. So thank you for watching.